Excellent. Hello guys and you're welcome to this section. Now in our last lesson we built a simple user interface. We haven't added any functionality yet and we had a stop, pause and play. So now we're going to add the on pause button and then we'll go ahead and begin coding some of our uh, player elements. So just right off the bat I'm just going to create a function def and I'll just call that on pause and I'll just use the pass keyword. So right now what I'm going to do is just add the on pause button. So I'm just going to say button underscore on pause. That's going to be equal to a TTK dot button. And the root uh, parent window is going to be root. And the text is going to be set to on pause. Just like that. And let's just make this uh, capital P. Oh, let's just call that resume. All right, so let's see, resume. Which will actually make it uh, much more neater than uh, on pause. So next, what we're also going to do is to actually uh, bind uh, this button. So let's just say button underscore on pause dot bind. And we'll just uh, bind that to the uh, left click. So let's just say button dash one and our function name is on pause let's not forget to close this guy and also close this bracket and next what we're going to do is also pack this button so let's just say button underscore on pause dot pack let's set the fill to be equal to tk dot x so let's save that and run it. So we have the uh, stop, uh, we have the pause, play, resume, and stop. So I want the play to be on top. So simply when we're packing, we're just gonna create this guy to actually be the one uh, on top. So when we're packing, let's just go ahead and put play to be right on top like that. So we have play, stop, pause, and then we're gonna have resume. So we're going to have play, stop, pause, and resume. So that's how you can stack these and to make sure that they are stacked uh, properly. So the next thing we're going to do is to actually call the pygames init uh, method because the init is going to in initialize a pygame. So right now, just right under where we declared our root window, they're just going to say uh, initialize. Oops, sorry about that, guys. And I'm just set that so initialize pi game. So I'm just gonna see a uh, pi game dot init. So that's how we can uh, simply initialize pi game. And next, we're gonna add functionality to our buttons. So now that we have the uh, pass, but before we do so, we're gonna be using pi games mixer module, music module. So let's go ahead and see help on that and see how you can get help on it. So if you open up the Py, uh, Python shell, I'm just going to import import Pygame. So now that we have imported Pygame, we can actually get help from, uh, so let's just see help. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. So let's see Pygame.mixer.music. So this is the module we're going to be using to actually, uh, oops, sorry about that guys, there's no uh, zero right there. So if you open this up, this is our Pygame Mixer module and it's used to control music. So there are a lot of functions here, but we can see we have the play, which tells us it starts the playback from the music stream. We have rewind, we have the stop, we have on pause. So these are the functions we're gonna be using to actually control our uh, playback. Like I said, it's gonna be a simple application and we're not gonna be uh, overloading uh, everything. So the first thing we're going to do is to make this an event. So our uh, button that we've bound to uh, can have access to uh, this. So let's just uh, call event. And also let's call this uh, event. So what we're going to be doing next is just code uh, simple uh, functionality. So first we're going to just say try. And the try is going to be indented. So I'm just going to say pygame.mixer.music. 
init to initialize the pygame mixer. So next we're going to say pygame dot mixer dot load because we need to load a file. So I'm going to create a placeholder called load f. So load f is going to be what our music file for the pygame mixer is going to be loading. And also I'm going to set pygame dot mixer dot music dot play. Now, if we want this track to repeat, we're going to pass in a parameter of minus one. So once I do that, I'm going to accept a pygame.error. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. So I'm going to accept a pygame.error. Because exceptions can occur. And I'm simply going to print out couldn't let's just say could not load file so it has going to be one exception and the other exception we're going to accept a name error so just a name error and for that name error what we're going to do is just to say print and uh, this is a file cannot be found please load a track first. So we need to load a track before we can actually play that track or else we are actually going to uh, get an error. So for our stop, all we need to just say is uh, pygame.mixer.mixer.music.stop. So that's how we're going to actually uh, stop our music while our music is playing. So for the pause, we're just going to say pygame dot mixer dot music dot pause and for our on pause event we're just gonna say uh, pygame dot mixer dot music dot on pause and basically that's a simple uh, way of actually on pausing our uh, music so let's go ahead and just save this file as let's just uh, put underscore adding underscore functions underscore pygame because we added our functions and also we added the uh, pygame module so uh, let's go ahead and just stop right here because I don't want this to be an extremely long lesson and to make sure that these are actually working so in our next lesson we're going to actually load the file create a file dialog that will load a file from our system that will add, let us have access to the uh, tracks we want to load so uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next